What's going on, everybody? Hope everybody's feeling good. Hope everybody's doing well. Guys, we are back with an update. Like I said, like I told you guys earlier this week, I had a bunch of updates I wanted to do. Um, guys, so here's another one for you guys. This story is about a guy finding out his wife was cheating on him. And his dog, if you guys remember the dog, Rockweiler saved the day. The Rockweiler tore into the AP, tried to rip him apart and almost ripped apart his now ex-wife, his now ex-wife. He's back, wants to give us an update, telling us how everything is. She tried crawling back, surprisingly. It sounds like after the divorce, though, after the divorce was finalized, she still tried to get back with him, guys. Ah, oh, so, so sad. Salute to that dog, your dog. Salute to him. But, guys, if you haven't, um, you don't know the story I'm talking about, I'm going to play it first so you can check it out. You don't have to jump around and listen. You can stay right here and listen to it. Or if you want to go straight into what I'm about to read right now, go down to the description, click the latest part, whatever that latest part will say. Click on that, and it'll take you right to what I'm about to read right now. Let's get into it. AP suffers greatly after affair with my soon-to-be ex-wife. Wonder if the guy knew that, you know, she was married. He knew he was messing with a married woman. You know, karma on him. And she should get karma, too. But luckily, you know, you're divorcing her. Guys, I'm telling you, man. It's just not worth it. In my opinion, it's not worth it. But, uh, salute to those who seem to make it work. Both my ex wife and her AP felt the karma, and I love it. I've been married to my soon to be ex wife for six years. We met at her work. She was a student and worked as a barista at Starbucks. I would frequent this Starbucks, and one day, she hit on me when I came in at an odd, not too busy day. I had meetings that day and took a later lunch. Anyway, she suggested we exchange numbers. So we did and hit it off really well. Things were phenomenal before we married. And while we were married up until I caught her cheating on me. I had a Rockweiler since she was a pup. Lucy, the most precious Rockweiler ever. I love her. I live near my job, but I still had a dog sitter come by the house to walk her and made sure she was, was good. Sometimes I'll have long meetings and couldn't always make it home for lunch. Lucy did not like my soon-to-be ex-wife in the beginning, and it took a while before Lucy began to be okay with her. My soon-to-be ex-wife grew to hate Lucy during our marriage. Lucy wouldn't even eat or drink food prepared by my ex-wife for Lucy. That's hilarious. Hilarious. Dang. Well, she, she sent some... Dogs have good senses. You know that, right? She sent something on that woman that wasn't right. If she saw that I poured the dog food or put water in her dish, she'd partake in it. When my soon-to-be ex-wife did it, she'd sniff it and look up and walk away. <laughs> After dating for two years, my soon-to-be ex-wife graduated and started working as a school teacher. I proposed to my soon-to-be ex-wife in front of family on Christmas Eve at my home. Everything is always held at my residence. Thanksgiving, Christmas, etc. After I proposed, and guys, I'm not kidding you, Lucy, my dog, was not happy with me. She didn't want me to pet her, and she stayed near my nephews the rest of the night. When everyone left, Lucy went to the basement and slept. She never did that unless she was upset. I shouldn't have ignored that sign. I'm not rich, but I make really good money, and I have assets that I want to protect. So I approached my soon-to-be ex-wife and told her I'd like to get a prenup in place before marriage. She did not like that. She cried saying that I think she's a gold digger and she would take things from me. 
I said, no, it's in place just in case. She says, in case of what? Divorce? You're marrying me to divorce me? I said, no, but, but you never know. She eventually says, fine, and I arranged a setup. Before our wedding and signing any marriage certificate, we got the prenup done. My soon-to-be ex-wife carried twice and lost both of our little ones. After that, we decided not to have kids. Those times were rough. Happened two years into our marriage, then four years into it. It was tough on both of us, but tougher on her. She felt she had failed as a wife and never had any idea that she couldn't carry. It's possible for her, but but she has had a few issues down there that she was made aware of and it can be taken care of. Five years in is when I began to notice her act differently. She was working later saying she needed to prepare curriculums around getting her students to pass some state exams. I believe it to be true in the beginning, but I think she started using that as an excuse to stay late for her coworker. That went on for a while until this past July. I took Lucy to work this day. Some days we have dog day at work and people bring in their pets. This dog day, it was my turn to bring in my dog if I wanted to, along with some others. And I did. Everyone loved Lucy. She loved everyone as well and played well with the other dogs. It was great. My soon-to-be ex-wife was to be at work that day. And what she didn't know was that this was actually a half day at work. I had actually never participated in dog day before. And whenever there was dog day, I still work a full day those days. I, had, I head out at noon, take Lucy for a little potty break, and I head home. I get home and my soon-to-be ex-wife car is there along with the Ford Explorer. I thought, who the heck is this? I grab Lucy and we go inside. Lucy is upset. I yell for my wife and Lucy takes off upstairs. Next thing I hear is a guy screaming and Lucy attacking. Apparently as soon as Lucy saw the AP, she went into attack mode and tore this man up. He was butt naked in my home and my soon to be ex-wife was as well. He had bruises on his shoulders and forearms. I pulled Lucy off and he ran out of the house bleeding. My soon-to-be ex-wife was just standing there crying, but naked, saying she could explain everything. I told her to get the F out. No pleading. She ran into the room, came out five minutes later, and left. Lucy leaped at her as well. Glad I grabbed her. My soon-to-be ex-wife was served in August, and man, what a scene that was. I'll send another email to tell you all about it and how things are going with the divorce. Thanks for reading. Whoa, <laughs> dang. Lucy, dude, Lucy warned you, sir. Oh, she she did warn you. And you ignored her. And you, you, admit, you admit to that. You admit I, I ignored my dog's signs. She did not like your new girlfriend. He knew something was up with her. Trust me, man, dogs know. If your dog doesn't like a certain person, like a family member, they come over all the time and that dog just does not like them, there's something wrong with that person. Their energy is off, that bad energy, something is wrong with them. And that dog knows that person is not good for you. And you need to be careful around that person. I'm, I'm telling you, I love dogs. I absolutely love dogs. I'm glad you're divorcing her. I'm glad you got a prenup. You know, uh, I was just reading. It was Ariana Grande, the singer, if you guys know who that is. She divorced her husband after, I think, two years or something like that. But she had a prenup in place. I don't know what he does, but I imagine he makes less than her or whatever. But uh, even with the prenup? She has to pay him $1.25 million. On top of that, they have to sell their home in L.A. And he gets half of whatever it sells for. 
So hopefully this prenup, <laughs> hopefully this prenup works for you. I don't know where you live. Uh, you said you're you're gonna send another you're gonna send in another story. I haven't seen any emails uh, from this account. I'll I'll actually I'll reply to you before I put this out. I'll reply to you and let you know I'm posting this. If you want to send the email, uh, letting us know what's going on, if everything's good. Uh, I'd like to know wh where do you live. I, I hope you don't live in California because I just feel like California is just I don't know that prenup might not work, but I don't know you. You probably got a shark of a lawyer. You you know you know what you're doing. You sound like you know what you're doing. You sound like you're a smart person. Uh, you made the right decision by leaving her. Uh, hopefully you learned your lesson. Don't pick up girls <laughs> that work at Starbucks. So it sounds like you do pretty well for yourself. You know, it is so weird. I I just saw I just saw something, and I don't even know where I saw that. I watch so many different things and hear people talking every once in a while, but I saw something where somebody was asking or saying how a man can be very successful and he'll date, you know, a woman that just works at a restaurant or, you know, does some little minuscule job or whatever. But a woman say she's a lawyer? Oh no, she deserves a freaking judge, NBA player, actor. Heck, a woman that works at McDonald's thinks she deserves Leonardo DiCaprio or something. So yeah, it's it's uh it's interesting how that works. But uh, guys, if you work really hard in life, man, and you you got your career going and you got things going for yourself, don't throw it all throw it all the way. I don't I don't throw it all the way to be with some barista. You know, I don't care how good she looks. You know, she was in school, I guess. So, I mean, she she's doing something, but I don't know. It, uh, I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to judge somebody just because they're working at a barista. I mean, I worked at. I freaking worked at Pizza Hut while I was in college. So, I mean, people do do those types of jobs. But anyway, you did the right thing by leaving her, dude. Seriously, I'm looking forward to that update. Please send it, man. Guys, again, if you want to send in a story, send it to True Story Nation at gmail.com. Whether it's a funny story, you know, a story where you feel like it's going to help somebody, send it to True Story Nation at gmail.com. It's right here on the screen, guys. Hey, True, I noticed that you read my story. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate you and everyone in the comments. In my email, I didn't go through how she reacted after receiving divorce papers. She flipped out and had the nerve to show up at my home. Lucy was ready to tear a hole in that woman. Luckily, she didn't get in like she tried. She's, she went around the house checking every door hoping to get in. The dog walker was at my home that day. She showed up. Apparently, my soon-to-be ex-wife saw her walk into the home with Lucy and tried to use that. She needed her things. I had already packed her things and sent them to where she told me to do so. Nothing of hers was in my home. But according to Mary, the lady who walks my dog when I need her to, my soon-to-be ex-wife screamed, B, get out of my house. I knew you wanted my man. She's pretty confused thinking I'm still her man. <laughs> On that day is when she called me at my office screaming saying that I can't divorce her and she can explain everything. This is what's mind-boggling with cheaters. I walk in and practically catch you in the act and you tell me you can explain? Really? I told her to never call my office ever again and I'm calling the police so she better leave my home. Since then, she hasn't called or showed up. But at our first hearing... She had a bunch of demands and one was very weird of her to ask for. She wants half of my 401k account, my house, and Lucy. Yes, she claims she's developed a loving relationship with Lucy and she now wants her. So freaking funny. So here's the thing. Her lawyer backed off fighting for those things except Lucy at the first hearing. She signed a prenup, remember? He gets nothing. But somehow the custody of Lucy is still on the table. My lawyer says she's trying to do whatever she can to hurt me, take away from me. 
anything. She just needs something from me that I don't want to give up. Divorce is a dirty game, my lawyer said. I'm very happy knowing that my prenup will hold up and she gets nothing but what she came with. But she's not getting my Lucy. Ever. She's lost her effing mind. Lucy doesn't even like her. I'm sure my soon-to-be ex-wife would just be evil and put her down or something. What an evil person, man. Her AP got tore up pretty bad. And according to police, he's not pressing any charges or anything. They wouldn't tell me who he is, which I find very annoying because this man knows where I live. I so desperately wanted to reach out to my soon-to-be ex-wife to ask who he is, but I dumped that idea quick. No contact is the best way. I was contacted by both her siblings, brother and sister. Of course, she didn't tell them what happened. She said that I flipped out on her because I'm in love with another woman, threatened to sick my dog on her if she didn't leave. I told them both that there's a whole police report and that their sister is an effing liar. I proceeded to tell them what actually happened, and that I'm not in love with anyone else, and our marriage, I thought, was perfect. Her brother apologized to me. He was pretty upset that we couldn't be family anymore. Him and I got pretty close, seriously. I told him, dude, it may be possible for us to remain friends. We'll just have to see how everything plays out. I'm over 10 years his senior. But man, that's my guy, seriously. My soon-to-be ex-wife's sister, by the way, called me a liar, a prick, and said she's going to make sure her sister takes me to the cleaners and takes every dime that I have. As soon as she said that, I put her on speakerphone and started recording on another phone. I said, I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. What did you say? She repeated, I will make sure my sister takes you to the cleaners and takes every dime that you have. Also, I will shoot the effing animal between her eyes. You will pay for what you did to my sister. I hung up the phone and spoke to my lawyer about it. He instructed me to go to the police and make reports because she was making terroristic threats. That's exactly what I did. It's on record, and if something happens to my Lucy, we'll know who likely did it. I'll keep you posted in what happens with the divorce. Wow. Crazy sister, man. You're trying to... Wow, really? I'm going to shoot that animal between the eyes. Oh, you sick woman. Y'all... Pay attention to how the sister is acting, and then pay attention, then pay attention to how the brother is acting. The brother-in-law. He believed her. He's like, I believe you, man. I know my sister. I've seen her do some <laughs> He's probably, man, that poor kid grew up with two sisters. He didn't seen everything. He didn't seen those girls, girls lying to their boyfriends, having other guys over at the house. Trust me, he's seen it all. He's, he's been, he's, he knows. He knows how they are. He knows how women are, period. That's messed up, man. That's, that's tough, man. I feel bad. I feel bad. For him, you know, he feels like he's losing a family member, a friend that he developed with you. But you, know, you got to protect yourself, you know, be careful. Um, you know, they can get in his ear and say anything. Maybe you don't you just never know. So you got to look out for yourself first is all I'm saying. You know, protect you and Lucy in your house. I'm glad the prenup is 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 working. It's going to work out for you. You know, it's always scary. You hear sometimes that prenups don't work. I think in certain states and stuff like that, like sometimes they don't work. That's horrible. But it seems like it worked out for you. And I remember in the first story, your first email, you wanted a prenup, but she was against it, correct? She was against it. Why do we have to do this? This isn't fair. See, this is why. Imagine if you didn't have that prenup. Dude, she's taking half the house. She's going into your 401k, your retirement. She deserves half. She's getting half of everything. She might just get up. She she probably will get loose. I hope. She, oh my gosh, I hope she doesn't get Lucy. There's no way. How is that still on the table? There's no way. There's no way. The dog doesn't even like her. <laughs> then she tries to feed the dog, and the dog won't eat it. 
Oh, no. This woman's evil. Dude, keep us posted, please. Guys, let me know what you think about this update to this story. My divorce is to be finalized December 9th. Okay. Drew, I want to thank you again for sharing my story. I will soon be a free man. Free from this crazy woman. My ex-wife, 100%, will not be getting Lucy. Good, I forgot. I forgot about that. She was trying to get the dog. Judge ruled that because it was proven that Lucy doesn't even like her. And the audio recording was played of her sister threatening to, to shoot Lucy between the eyes. The judge agreed that Lucy would not be safe with my soon-to-be ex-wife. Thank God I made her sign a prenuptial agreement. She cannot get any of my 401k savings or house. She cried when it was all explained to her. She literally had a breakdown in front of the judge, and I can't believe she said this, but she did. She said, What's the point of marrying if I can't get what I deserve? Wow. <laughs> to me, that sounded like I only married him to take from him. Guys, please don't ever get married. It's just not worth it. Outside of the courthouse, her sister cursed me out, and my lawyer heard everything and pulled me away, telling me to ignore her. Once she made yet another threat, this time saying she'd shoot me too, my lawyer ran to get an officer. My soon-to-be ex-wife and my soon-to-be ex-wife's sister was arrested for making criminal threats. <laughs> oh, I love it. My lawyer said he would testify because he heard everything about her threatening his client. Dumb ape. Dumb B. I don't know how my soon-to-be ex-wife left the courthouse because her sister was her ride. Tough crap. I often sit and think about what made me even hit on my soon-to-be ex-wife. I'm not judging anyone who's a barista, but I am but I'm around better quality women. She is gorgeous. I won't deny that. But at the time, I don't know what I was truly thinking. I guess it just made things better when I found out she was finishing college and eventually she would become a professional. I plan on moving to Arizona next year. It was supposed to actually happen two years ago, working for the same firm, just our West Coast branch in Goodyear, Arizona. It'll be nice to leave the Midwest. I've been out there quite often for work, so I'm very familiar with Arizona. If anything else transpired, transpires, if not, just know I'm getting divorced. Nice. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm glad that woman got arrested. She should have been arrested before that. Threatening to shoot that dog. And you had the recording. Oh, man. <laughs> Dang. She's that mad because her sister is getting kicked to the curb. Mm, mm, mm. Well, salute to you, sir. Sounds like <laughs> things are going to go well. I, I hope so, man. Um, Yeah, you're going to get divorced here soon. All the, And smart man, he made her sign a prenup. You guys remember on, on part one? She didn't even want to sign a prenup. She didn't want anything to do with it. Now, look, what if he would have, okay, babe, I want to show you that I love you. I'm not going to, I'm not going to make you sign a prenup. He would be losing his house, his savings, his his retirement. I still say don't get married. I don't I don't think it's worth it. Guys, let me know what you think about this update. All right, part four. True. My divorce was finalized last month. I've been too busy celebrating. Sorry I didn't update sooner. I have hung out with my ex-wife's brother a few times. Like I said, we are pretty close. Well, we were. The last I saw him, I told him we couldn't anymore. Something he did just did not sit with me. Once we were at the arcade and his fiance called him going off on him. I heard the whole thing on speakerphone. She says that man has destroyed your sister's lives, both of them. One is in jail, and you want to be buddy-buddy with him? 
I am disgusted and don't know if I still want to marry you. She hung up the phone on him. We finished our game and he played it off like he was cool, but I could tell it was bothering him. I told him, hey, you're too young anyway. Live life and focus on money. Trust me, it'll be worth it. As far as I know, they are still slated to get married. My now ex-wife's sister is indeed in jail. <laughs> she could not post bond. Her dumb self is charged with making terroristic threats. She did more than that. I'm not sure why she wasn't charged with more. She knocked an officer down to the ground. That was crazy. I have to tell you about my ex-wife's final attempt too to keep me. So like I said, I was close with her brother. Well, we were hanging out shooting pool right before Christmas at a lounge bar. I had no idea, but he decided to tell his sister that he was with me hanging out via text. When she showed up, I looked at him and I said, dude, come on, what you got planned here? He said, sorry, bro, my sister has been a mess. She says she just needs to talk to you, man. I promised her that I'll do this for her. Please don't hate me, man. True, I was pretty upset. I was set up, and here I am thinking I could still be close to one of her siblings. That's a done deal now. But when she showed up, this woman looked a mess. My ex-wife, that is. She was asking to go over to an area where, where it was less noisy so we could talk. I told her I'd listen, but I don't have much to say to her. I grabbed my jacket because my plan was to leave right after hearing her out. She said to me that she was terribly sorry for everything and she knows that she can't live without me. She proceeded to tell me how embarrassing it is to move back in with her parents and she has nothing now. True story, this woman had the nerve to ask me if we can reconcile and we don't have to worry about remarriage. We could just be together. Wow. Take a trip somewhere and find our love again. She said she'd use the little bit of money she has to help pay for it. True, I stood there silent, zipped up my jacket, and I walked away. She started screaming, I'm going to off myself. I'm going to off myself. I walked up to her brother and told him it was nice knowing him, and I left the lounge. Her brother ran back to console her. I hadn't talked to her brother since. He and I had a really close relationship. We truly did, but I was stupid to think that blood wasn't thicker than water. I don't date per se, but I do hook up. Women are insane these days. A woman was asking me out, and I said yeah, and she got upset when I was asking for two checks and called me a cheap bastard. I thought whoever was asking the other person out pays. You want to know what's funny? I hooked up with that woman twice. She's nothing more than a hookup, though. I am never doing the relationship thing ever again. Again, thanks for taking my story. I really appreciate your thoughts and the comments from True Story Nation. Take care. Wow. All righty. Well, I'm glad you're doing good. I, I do remember, I remember uh, you saying you were going to move. You're supposed to go to Arizona or something, or you're going to switch, not switch jobs. You, your job is going to transfer you or something. Hey, man, one thing I notice about these stories, when you guys get out of these situations, you guys travel. You, <laughs> you guys leave. It's one story where a guy said he's going to Thailand. You know, he's leaving to go to Thailand. You know, people, you guys are just getting up out of here. Didn't I just do one where the guy said he's moving to Florida? You know, uh, I remember some over the summer. The guy moved to Oregon. You guys are really... <laughs> You guys are going through this and leaving. Man, that's you know you know why I think that's so interesting? Because I remember and I posted the story New Year's Eve for a lot of people that were asking me, uh, what's your story? What's your story? I posted it on New Year's Eve, so it's here on the channel. But after my situation, I moved to a different city too. I did the same thing. Something about it just makes you just want to get away. You know, you know, but you guys are skipping states. <laughs> You're leaving the state. Salute to you, man. I'm happy for you, man. I'm happy for your dog. I'm glad you I'm glad she did not get your dog. I'm glad her sister is in jail. She's threatening. She threatened to, to pop the dog and pop you. If I can recall, 
Oh my gosh, disgusting. And then, yeah, you should have never trusted her brother as, as, as much as he said, oh man, we're buddy, buddy. We're At the end of the day, that's his sister. So <laughs> there you go. Guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments. I'm going to catch you guys at the next one.